since I had a little time before work this morning to go game and tech hunting, I went out for about two hours, hit a couple of Goodwills and Walmart, and uh, surprise, surprise, I actually have something relatively big to show you that I stumbled across. You know, you don't you don't hit all the time. Matter of fact, you don't hit most of the time when you go out hunting. But today I scored, and I'm excited to share it with you. It is time for one of my three weekly trips to the local Goodwill. Um, sorry about my voice. I've had like a head cold going on the last couple days and been coughing. It's kind of left my voice all shot. But anyway, I'm going to see if uh, hopefully Arkansas Picker hasn't already cleaned out all the good stuff. I'm not seeing much today. A lot of times when I come in here, I find jack shit. It's actually a pretty cool looking old DVD player with its remote, but not something I don't think I could flip for enough money to make it worth my time. Oh, yeah, not a damn thing. I think that's that same Wii Fit board that uh, Arkansas Picker showed in the other video. No, 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 that was at Habitat. Man, not a damn thing. Sometimes it's worth going to the toy aisle, actually. What do we get? Oh, well, here's some sort of controller. Oh, it's a Pelican. Looks like a GameCube controller, but no dongle. So, oh, a gold Darth Vader piggy bank. Buck 99. I'm going to pick that up just for me. I actually grabbed here one time in a bag an original Grimlock from the G1 Transformers, so it's always worth hitting up the toy aisle. I've gotten some vintage Masters of the Universe from there as well. I have to say I've had worse trips to the Goodwill. At least I came out with not one but two things. Of course you saw that gold Darth Vader bank, but I also came out with this Westworld Loot Crate Dolores and Arnold. Now I haven't watched Westworld. I don't know anything about it, but I'm like, you know, for two dollars you know, if I can flip this thing for six or seven bucks, might not be too bad. Heck, I kind of like it though. I may end up keeping it as well. It says adult collectible, not a toy. I hate that it's got that little tear in the package there. But two bucks is two bucks, you know. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn it down. Now I wouldn't normally think about Walmart for a place to find like decent gaming deals, but they have these HyperX Cloud Stinger headsets. Mark down to 15 and they're like regularly selling on eBay for 35 or so. That's not a bad deal at all. I don't need them. Uh, I don't know that the profit margin would be enough for my time, but I'm kind of twitchy about that anyway. Now I will tell you one thing that irritates me about Walmart. I mean, there's many things, but this in particular. Okay, so check this out. We got the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Now they got it in store for $44.92 uh, on their site walmart.com they have it listed for $31 and some change and I asked the associate over at the counter I said hey do you price match walmart.com now I understand that they won't price match the third party sellers on their platform I get it that makes sense but they said oh well only if it's $10 or less which makes no sense whatsoever so I could buy it here for $44.92 so roughly $45 or I could go on the website and also buy it from Walmart for 31 and they won't price match in store. Make it make sense. I swear Walmart can eat a whole bag full of crusty platypus dicks. So I'm trying to check out what a stupid first world thing to get mad over, right? I know. Okay. So I use the self checkout because, you know, there's like what? one cashier and she's got like people in the line I'm like okay I'm only getting two items so I scan it my item just a phone tripod right it registers on the screen boom tripod boom price like $18.98 right cool it's there put it in the bag and then this notification pops up on the screen oh approval needed ask associate for help like for what Anyway, the lady comes over, her name is Jolene, and had a really hard time not singing it, but, uh, so she enters it, and she looks, and, like, and, and it shows on the screen, like, a video replay of my purchase, of me scanning it, but underneath it's flashing, 
potential missed item scan. <sighs> okay, so she enters her employee code, right? Right. I gotta scan my next item. Again, I only have two items. You know what that second item was? I had the same experience. Sauerkraut. A jar of sauerkraut. Again, registers on the screen. There's the item, there's the price. Boom, put it in the bag. Approval needed. Same thing. And it shows another instant replay of me scanning the jar of sauerkraut. Okay, first of all, Walmart. The whole Walton fit. Look. If I'm gonna come into your store and steal, which I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a thief. You don't know that, okay? I'll give you, I'll give you that benefit of the doubt. You don't know that. But I'm gonna shoot a little higher than some fucking sauerkraut, okay? Like I, I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm, I, it's gonna be something that's gonna be worth potentially catching a felony for and spending a week or two in jail waiting my trial date, okay? I'm not gonna put my ass on the line for a can of sauerkraut. All right, and as promised, I actually finally have a good haul from The Hunt. Now, <clears throat> I just want to go through this haul one price at a time. I picked up the sealed Xbox 360 memory card unit, $10. All right. And now, I picked up this GameCube with... GBA player. Now, I don't know if the disc is in here or not. I don't think I could get that lucky. But I got this GBA. Not this GBA. This GameCube with the GBA player. Two controllers. One purple. One matching platinum. And all the cables. $45. Wavebird. $5. Wavebird receiver. $5. GameCube microphone that I would never use for anything. Three dollars. Now, so we've got ten. Forty-five, that's fifty-five. Sixty, sixty-five. Seventy. I'm sorry, this was five dollars, not three. So seventy-five dollars for everything you're seeing right here. Now, what's really going to be crazy is if this thing ends up having the Goodwill I go to, one of them, likes to really just wrap the shit out of their consoles. Got audio and video cables, original power unit, moment of truth. Let's see if uh, there's a player disc in there. Ah, shit. Yeah, you can get the GBA player all day. Um, that disc, <laughs> that's, that's a mug. Um, what else was I going to say? Damn, I had something. You know, I always have like plenty of ideas in my head to put into a video until I go to uh, talk about it. Uh, what else was I going to say? So we got the GP, the GameCube. So yeah, anyway, you're looking at like all this for $75. Now, compare that to the prices that DKLD charges. And, and the whole point of this is to show that the deals are still out there. Now we already know that DKLD doesn't actually refurbish their consoles, or supposedly they're changing that, but they have a history of not. So you stand just a chance of picking up a quality, an item of the same degree of quality and condition for way less if you just, you just gotta be persistent with it. Um, as I've said in earlier videos, I'd say nine times out of 10 when I go hunting for things at, at Goodwill, at yard sales, at flea markets. I come away empty handed or I come away with one or two items of marginal interest. But sometimes you hit a score and ladies and gentlemen, I caught a lick with this one. Let's do a little price comparison, shall we, between DK Oldies and Goodwill. Now, right off the bat, I am willing to concede that DK Oldies has a superior warranty. Theirs is one year and Goodwill's is well, not at all. However, in both cases, if DK Oldies recent performance has been any indication, you stand an equal chance either way of acquiring a console that is filled with roaches and rat droppings and the tormented souls of the damned. So you might as well, in that scenario, opt for the less costly option.
So that's $485 at DK Oldies or $70 at Goodwill for this same console and accessories. Now, I will grant you, my Goodwill find, that was a one-off. You don't find that every day, but they can be found. There are yard sales out there, flea markets, thrift shops, sometimes online auctions if you catch folks slipping. You just, it's out there. Now, retro collecting being what it is, it's, it's getting more difficult. There's no denying that, but I think I would rather wait and get a decent deal on something than to give outfits like DK Oldies a single cent of my money. You know what I mean? Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you subscribe and because uh, that would be mighty cool of you and I would love you forever. And uh, you take it easy.